YouTube, Niner Empire, what is going down? Welcome back. The 49ers are opening up as one and a half point favorites over the Kansas City Chiefs next Sunday when they take on the Chiefs at home, uh, Levi's Stadium. Um, obviously, it's without a doubt the toughest opponent that the 49ers have faced all season long, um, probably besides the Minnesota Vikings. I still think Minnesota is going to come back down to earth uh, sooner or later. I don't think they're as good as what their record shows. Their defense has been flying around. You know, I'm not taking. I'm not trying to discredit them, but Minnesota will come back to life sooner or later. Um, but aside from the Minnesota Vikings, I mean, the Kansas City Chiefs are without a doubt the toughest opponent uh, that the 49ers have faced all year. Really, they are the toughest opponent. Let's be honest here. Um, I mean, obviously with the Chiefs. Uh, you know, Patrick Mahomes and, and that offense, even without Isaiah Pacheco um, and Rasheed Rice has caused problems for many defenses. And the 49ers are going to have to play, you know, complimentary football on both sides of the ball. They have to limit turnovers. They have to create turnovers and get interceptions, um, you know, fumble recoveries, whatever the whatever it, you know, it is. They have to in some way, shape or form create turnovers, get turnovers, um, and, and, and make it hard on the Kansas City offense. So um, it's going to be a tough game. I mean, you know, with the 49ers, you're looking at, you know, a 3-3 three and three record. You play the Chiefs, and then you play the Dallas Cowboys at home on Sunday night football in two weeks, and then you have your bye week. Um, and then the second half of the schedule is pretty tough. I mean, some of the teams that the Niners have to play after the bye week the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, literally the game right after the bye week. Um, they play them in Tampa. Um, and then they play the Buffalo Bills. They play the Detroit Lions. They play the Packers. They play a lot of decent teams, um, you know, at the second half of the schedule. So they really need to at least win one out of the next two games. I mean, really, they need to win two of the next three because going into both of these games against the Chiefs and, and – um, the Dallas Cowboys in the next two weeks, they, the 49ers are the better team going into these games. I mean, they're, they're much better than the Kansas city chiefs roster wise. I mean, the only thing that chiefs have is Patrick Mahomes. Um, not worried about Travis Kelsey this year. He's not Travis Kelsey's clearly on the decline, still a good player, not taking anything away from him, but Travis Kelsey does not look, look like what he wants to like what he wants used to look like. Um, and then, you know, with the Dallas Cowboys, that team's a dumpster fire right now. I mean, they have, they got absolutely obliterated at home, um, yesterday. So, um, yeah, I mean, the Niners, you know, clearly this team has a track record of always, um, starting slow towards the first half of the season and then they you know eventually kick it back in gear and, and go on a run so uh, right now I mean would be the time for the Niners to go on a run and start beating teams um, and it's going to be tough um, especially this back half of the season but there's no doubt in my mind the 49ers can can win um, you know seven out of the next what 10 games or, or Eight, the 49ers can win at least seven to eight more games this year, uh, bottom line. So they have to do it. They have to go on a run. They have to beat teams that they need, that they should be beating. The 49ers really should only have one loss right now. Um, so they have to finish games. But, yeah, next week's going to be a huge test. But, yeah, Niners open up again as one-and-a-half-point favorites over the Kansas City Chiefs next next weekend. Let me know what you guys think. Um, of this going into week seven um, of the NFL season. And, yeah, I mean, the 49ers um, and the, the Chiefs, it's, it's going to be one of the better games next week. Um, so the 49ers will have to kick things in gear, really start to play their best football of the season. Um, and, again, I mean, now's the time to go on a run and start winning as many games as you possibly can.